the game had played, um, you know, was playing his album. He had like a listening session. Yeah, I saw and that. And he had the live feed going on and all that good stuff. And his album that's supposed to be coming up called Born to Rap. And there was a verse that went viral about Kim K. And it said, quote, I'm Kobe. I'm a goat nigga. I held Kim Kardashian by the throat, nigga. Made her swallow my kids until she choked, nigga. Should I I should I should apologize because Jay, my folk, nigga. Like, sheesh. Yeah, that was Yeesh. He 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 that was a reaching for headlines line. Cause that's just disrespectful. It's so, so disrespectful. It is disrespectful. So, so disrespectful. It is. And it's like. Oh, man, it's so disrespectful. The thing about, <laughs> the thing about game is like, you always think like he's going to get to an age where he's past this kind of level of life, <laughs> but he's not. I, I'm trying to understand. Ooh, that where, hurts. Waking up waking up Tuesday morning hearing that. Ooh, that hurts. What's, I mean, you and if you Kanye, you already ranting about everything else. Like, do you rant about game? Do you go off about this situation? Um, I'm sure they don't even live that far from each other. I think so. I don't believe so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they all gonna they all gonna see each other. Yeah, but that's ooh, that's that's bad. I'm just trying to understand but the Kanye purpose of to that. wake up and hear that verse. Oh my god, game's like forty, yo. He doesn't care. He <laughs> ain't no forty. Game, game probably like 30, 30, 32, 33. Bro, he's not no thirty two, man. Let me look this up right now. 50's in his 40s. No, let me look this up right now, bro. 50's like 44, 45. Dog, let me look this up right now, bro. Game is not no 32, son. Yeah, Game game was born in 79. He's 39 years old, dog. He's about 40, bro. Oh, okay. (laughs) Uh, Game still out here talking about who he's smashing like he's 16. He still got his hairline. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's more than what I can say. I'm just trying to see, like, how does that get, I mean, I I, I just think, like, at this point, his, you know. It's a shock factor. It's a shock value. But where does that get you, though? Don't you think that at this point, Game's supposed to be, like, an OG and supposed to be, like, kind of evolved and schooling? It's like he's still. He is. And shout out to him, he actually squashed the beef. Well, if there, I don't even believe that was a beef, but him and Meek Mill have spoken. They're on speaking terms. They're on good terms now. I wouldn't call that a beef, really, though, in my eyes. I don't think they was beefing. Game is one of those people, man, if you want game to grow up, you might as well go choose another rapper because it ain't happening well. <laughs> Tell you right now, if, you, if you're looking for game to be like, to evolve like the way Snoop Dogg did and Hove did, it ain't going to happen. But if you someone who like that, you know how people like the old gangsters, uh-huh. uh, you the know they, they the old gangsters. You're right, right, right. Like that's what Forever. you go for. That's uh-huh. because game is just like I mean I, I don't see the purpose, but evidently he does. You know what I mean? I mean I guess he definitely got people attention off that. Yeah, that was the that was the whole plot. He, and he did mission accomplished. Most definitely mission but if accomplished. You're Kanye waking up hearing that. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. But do you ask my question though? Do if you Kanye, do you go off on him? Do you rant? Do you make a diss song? Do you fight him? Like what do you do? I mean, you got to do something. I mean, you got to defend your wife and your honor and your family. I mean, he kind of, I mean, he, I mean, Kanye kind of knew stuff like this was going to come when he decided to marry Kim Kardashian, period, because of her, her history in the game. But, I mean. Her hey, history in the game? Yeah, I mean, if that's, in the, game, if that's the right way to say it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, funny, funny words. But um, <laughs> no pun intended. But, yeah, he, he knew that this stuff was going to be in play, but. Uh, it just still hurts when it actually comes out. I think out. that right there is kind of old. Saying you smash Kim is not saying anything. Ooh, like, that's that's, that's kind of like a shot right there. No, I'm like, just say saying smash like, Kim. That's not saying anything. We all no, smash Kim. No, like, that's, no. That's, 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 I'm that's, saying that's like, how it sounds kinda, when you say it, though. No, I'm saying that's kind of. <laughs> that's how it sounds when you just say it. What you just, when you just, play back I'm what saying, you just said, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> rappers saying that, like, that. Where, where does that get you? Like, all rappers are trying to get a Kardashian. I mean, he claimed he had three. I'm saying he claimed like, he had three Kardashians. Yeah, that's what he claimed. He did say that. Yeah, oh, the, like the, one of the verses on there, he claimed he had three Kardashians. So my thing is like, where does that get old? Saying you had a Kardashian. Well, in? it's actually only three Kardashian females. No. Oh yeah, because you got the Jenners. The yeah, other one, the other ones are Jenners. So I guess you smash all the, unless you smash the mom. Yeah, unless you smash the mom. Which I'm not mad at you if you did. Yeah. But where did he's like, definitely a cougar? Why? Why is it that they have to be with like? The <laughs> I mean, she got young black guys, a bodyguard. That's what I said. She's definitely with the shits. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I, you know, if she banging with ten buck two brothers, and you know what I mean, I don't see why she would mess with game. But, but how good could it be if your last husband went to, to a woman on you? I mean, it probably was so good. He was like, I got to turn into this. It was so good. I got to get me one. <laughs> I got to get me one. I got to get me one of these. That's one way to look at it. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? Woo! 
That's glass half full. I mean, <laughs> I, I guess I guess, half empty. And I guess she was like, better you. Cause I'm yeah. not about to get no penis, so you know what I'm saying I just go get this black one over here. Jeez, but I just so say good. like, I to go get me one of these. When did the Kardashians become like this staple of achievement? Like if you ten hit year them, challenge for that one. It's like what? <laughs> <laughs> that's a ten. That's a ten month challenge where that transformation happened. Yeah. But I'm saying, when did the Kardashians become this staple of like, oh, so when you hit them, you achieve something? Like, where, where did that happen? Where did that happen? Or, like, why does that have to be? Like, why are rappers holding the Kardashians Cause up? Because they're just famous. That's all, because they're famous. Because everybody knows them. Everybody knows them. It's just a title. You hit something that everybody else sees and everybody else wants. Yeah, you use it as a, as a little trophy, so to speak. I ain't going to trip too hard because, I mean, what? Hip-hop is, what, in its early 40s, and for the first 35 years, it was just some black women. So now it's just some white women. I ain't going to go too hard for it, but I just don't see the point. Kardashians but. aren't black or white. There's something. No, yeah, what the ah oh, dang, what is it? They're that? mixed with man, come on, man. Just because you got a little spot, you Romanian white white. or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going that hard yeah. for it. But it, it's still They could have walked past the KKK and still lived. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I just don't see the point, but evidently game does. But like you said, it's always for shock value. And game never ceased to amaze me when you think that he's over something. Mission accomplished. Yeah, he definitely got us talking about it. Uh, it speaking of Yay, still hurts. Uh, you know, Yay filed a lawsuit against um for his music publishing and masters against Rockefeller and Island Def Jam and EMI publishing. Um, you know, he ranted about that not too long ago also. So you think this furthers the rift between him and Hove? I don't think it furthers the rift. I mean, it's that's just business. And I believe Hove knows the difference between business and personal beef. But I mean it's kind of funny though, because I don't know, Hove is more of a He's more of the empowering part as far as the artist with the rock, whole Rock Nation push and just teaching the artists to be more empowered and owning things and stuff like that. So it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm not really sure. he doesn't own any of his music. Well, and ever since Hov kind of left, you know, Def Jam altogether, I'm not sure how does that go. Yeah, but like, it could be more of a Def Jam situation. It could be. that, But that because, I mean, but you have to attach Rockefeller to it because it was a joint venture. So it might right. not be... That Hove is holding it back. It's just Hove's the name that everybody's thinking about. That's real. So it could really be Def Jam and EMI, but you just have to attach all three because they were a joint venture. Yeah. And, so. I, and, I, and you know, Hove has been on record of saying about artist rights. I mean, that was the whole point of starting yeah, so title. It doesn't make sense for, for him, for him to, to be upset about that, right? Yeah. So I think it's more of a attack at, or it's more suing Def Jam and EMI. It's just that you can't sue two out of the three. When all three are in bed together. <laughs> so it's in like, bed. <laughs> uh, well, somebody's in bed with him, so yeah. Yeah, so, I mean. Well, maybe he should sue game. Yeah, because when, when Def Jam wanted Jay, wanted Jay, they had to take the whole Rockefeller, so that kind of started the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I guess you ain't, yeah, you know, you ain't tripping off that. I mean, speaking of that, you know, he still is cool with Dame and all that, and I'm pretty sure nobody is going to be mad at you for one of your masters. Nobody's going to be mad at you for one of your publishing, except for the corporate big heads in the first place. Yeah, so that's what they eating off that, of. That's what they kids eating off of. Right. So I highly doubt, you know, one artist turn around and do it to another artist, but can't say it never happened before. Yeah, definitely can't say it never happened before. 